Over the past couple of years, unofficial PC ports for games never ported to PC have been on the rise, Perfect Dark being one of the newest ones. This new PC port was released sometime in November. There's a Windows and Linux version, and unlike the very recent Link's Awakening PC port, it should legally be in the clear. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and spread the good gospel of high-tech lowlife. I've also got a Discord server too if you'd like to join. So to begin, you'll need to visit this GitHub page. You could probably find Find it on Google, but I'll have a link in the description down below. The GitHub page will tell you everything you need to know about the port, including how to set it up. It also tells you what ROM file you need to supply. So when you scroll down, you'll see a download link for both Linux and Windows. So be sure to download the Linux one because you're going to be running this on Steam Deck. This is also the part where you would supply your own Perfect Dark ROM, more specifically the North American Revision. I can't tell you where to find it, but you're never more than a Google search away. Open the zip file and extract it to your directory of choice. In this case, I'm just going to put it on my SSD. You'll also want to right click the PD file, go into properties, go into permissions, and press is executable. That way you can actually execute the file. So by itself, the perfect dark port does not work. But that's where the ROM comes in. The ROM supplies the assets. If your ROM came in a .zip file, you will need to extract that zip file. It should be a .z64 file. You'll want to extract it in the data folder. You'll also need to rename the ROM. It needs to be named pd.ntsc-final.z64. To add Perfect Dark to Steam, you'll need to right click PD and press Add to Steam. It should be in your Steam library now. Now this is where things get a little counterintuitive. You'll need to force the use of a Steam Play compatibility tool. You'll then want to select Proton Experimental. So you may be asking me why I'm using Proton to run a native Linux game. Well, it's simple, really. The Linux port has a weird dependency issue. That is, unless you run it through Proton. I can't exactly explain why it fixes it, but it does, trust me. Now you can try running it. As you can see here, it runs at its original resolution, 640 by 480. And if you want to play at this resolution, that's great. It already runs at 60 FPS. But let's say you want to run this game at a higher resolution. Let's say you want to run this at the Steam Deck's native resolution, 1280 by 800. To do this, you'll need to do this in desktop mode. You'll need to go into the this directory. To see this directory though, you'll need to enable show hidden files. Just go to that hamburger menu in the top right corner, press show hidden files, then go into dot local, dot share, and then a perfect dark folder. In this other perfect dark folder, you'll see a pd.ini file. This is where the PC port's configuration lives, so you'll need to double click it to launch it, and then you'll need to edit some lines in here. For the purposes of changing the resolution, you will need to change the default width and default height. You'll also want to change the default full screen from 0 to 1. But as you may have noticed, there are many, many other settings. I'm not going to go over them in this video, but if you want more information about them, you should check out the wiki page. The wiki page for the PC port tells you everything you need to know about the PC port, and also how each setting changes stuff. If you follow my instructions, then you'll have Perfect Dark up and running, and in widescreen as well. Is it a good time to tell you that I never played Perfect Dark at release? I did play GoldenEye, and there is no PC port for GoldenEye. Not yet, at least. The default control mapping is pretty good. You know, left stick moves, right stick aims. It is worth mentioning that by default, the PC port retains the lock-on mechanic, even if you do use a mouse to aim. I don't know if there's any way to change it, but who knows, maybe there is in the future. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high-tech lowlife with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you if you wish to further support high-tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description. 